Good morning, this is Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Let's see here, market opens up in about five-ish minutes, so I think I'm gonna watch MRNA out of the opening gates, but we'll see what happens. I have an order at 42.45 here on DKNG. Wow, it was looking like it wanted to break up through 42 and then that fast, I mean, this thing's all over the place. Also have an order in on ZM out there, but I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that one. It's been out there for a while. But yeah, DKNG here all over the place. Let's see, market's been open here about 10 minutes. And haven't found a whole lot that kinda, wow. Now look at it, all the way back down. How high did it actually go? Right there, rejected at 41.97. All right, well, at that, that fast, now looking like, uh, I mean, 41 looks interesting now from the short side. So I'm gonna watch that 41 mark here, actually get it. Alert in the chat room too. Yeah, 41 looking very, very interesting now. I'd like to see it come up here and then maybe come back down not sure I would short it on this exact candle, but like I said, if the price wants, uh, well now it's heading back up. <laughs> so yes, price truly all over the place. Big spread too. Well, I will go ahead and pause it and if it looks like it uh, wants to break up above I mean, really 42 or 41. Right now it's looking like it's closer to maybe breaking up through the 41 mark. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause. All right, looking for the break of 42. There is the break. And a very mild break. I was wanting to see it shoot up there to uh, that 42, 45 ish area relatively quick, which did not happen. Now I'm almost wondering about 41.50 here. as a potential short. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and pause. As you see here, uh, if anything, at least we're capturing some video of a very, very volatile stock which with a very, very big spread. I'll keep an eye on it. Have an order at 42.85. Key break gonna be that 42.50 mark. And if it does break through, it needs to get up there pretty quick. Given a break of 42.50, I need to see the price move up to that area relatively quickly. Which it is failing to even break through that level. All right, I'll pause. And I'm gonna go ahead and get short here on Boeing at 148.25. This thing either wants to, or is either gonna need to roll over some here there we go, Let's see if it can get down through 148, that round number. Again, I think it's starting to look a little bit top heavy here. So we're looking for that 148 break. Mainly watching the five minute time frame here. Ideally gonna get a nice candle here. K 
can I get the break, there we go. All right, so I have 200 shares left. So still could potentially be a losing trade here, just not as big of a losing trade as what I thought it would be because I still wanna give these last shares some room to run here. So again, just to reiterate, this still could be a losing trade. Put in a, my stop for the final 200 shares up over 149. But if it is a losing trade, then it'll be uh, you know, not nearly as much as what it was. And I'm well aware in hindsight, people can be saying, you should have just sold all down at where you got out. Yeah, you, you're, you're right, right now it's maybe looking like that. But you know, I would question, well what happens if it kept on going down? Then those same people would be saying, well why don't you hang on to some shares? So we have hindsight here. But again, the, the primary thing that I wanted to accomplish was if this is a losing trade, which it, it will be, it'll be very, very modest. See, so yeah, looking right right now, not looking so good. Not looking too <laughs> not looking too good at all. But I'm not gonna wave the white flag yet. We'll see if this thing wants to behave like I still do believe it has a chance to behave, but not looking good right now in the least. If it breaks 149, I'm out and I'm out. So Still lost $87 on the trade, um, and it is what it is. I am still looking to potentially, what is that, 148, re-enter the trade again, but point here being, that is the power of at least pulling some off the table, because you can at least uh, you know keep the, keep the loss minimized. So $87, losing trade, again, hindsight, I get it. Clay, you should have just sold everything down there. That would have been, you know, you, you could be up, you know, plus 125 if I would have gotten all out, let's see, the math on that would have been $125. And yeah, you're right, I, I could be up $125 right now, but that's just hindsight for you. All right, well, let's see what else I can find. And I'm once again gonna get, oh, missed it, whoops. Might have been a good thing here as it bounces back up, so I may get an even better entry point than what I thought. If you look over here, you'll see I put in an order, but the problem was that order remained white, meaning I did not get filled, I was too slow. But as of right now, that might have been a good thing. I'm more so watching the five, and let me bring it over. So what you see on the screen is the one minute, but I use multiple times, because keep in mind, you only see a small portion of the monitor, so I'm actually watching more so the five minute, which is right there. All right, well, I'll keep you updated. All right, looking like ZM wants to get up over 194. I mean, I really like this formation here. So just picked up 500 shares, 193.75. So all out there for the 125 scalp. Shocking I didn't get more. I thought I was gonna be getting out at 194.15. I'll have to scroll back and watch that again. I could have sworn that I saw the level twos, the bid show up that high. But it is a very, there's a big spread here. So maybe I, I, I didn't see what I thought I was seeing or else it didn't last as long as I thought it did. Regardless, like I said, I thought I was gonna be adding another uh, 15 cents of that, which would have been another $75 for a $200 move, but can't sit here and reminisce about what was going on about level two. Oh, Facebook looking nice. Let me get this alert in the chat room. Um, so the, the learning lesson there is, uh, I basically, I mean, I, I'm not gonna sit here and try to play it off like that was how I, I thought it was gonna go. I screwed up that trade. Like I said, I, I fully thought I was going, I was going for 200 bucks on it. Um, only got 124, but think about it. I was in that trade for, let's just call it 10 seconds, I screwed it up, yet I'm still back in the green on the day. Um, and that's why managing risk is vital <laughs> because it was very, very unimpressive trading that put me back into the green. In fact, like I said, it was screwed up trading. I didn't even do it, uh, I, I messed up that trade, yet I'm still, well, not well back in the green, I'm up 36 bucks on the day. But the general philosophy is, and I've said this many times before, to those of you that watch you know, just my channel as a whole, but if you find yourself needing to trade like a superhero in order to get back to green, something's wrong with your risk management. If you're, let me say that again, if you are sitting there and saying, well, geez, wow, I really need to trade like a superhero now in order to you know, get back to break even or get back, 
to green, then that's not what you want to be doing. Are there really shares to short on this thing? What is that? Let's try. I don't know if I believe what Lightspeed's telling you. Lightspeed, that E right there, green on Lightspeed, represents that it's supposedly easy to borrow. Let's see. Let me put an order out there. Yeah, very nice. 11.45. But yeah, let's see if it wants to shoot up there. Very, very fast mover. That's why I'm I'm quite a bit away from it. I that could very well just be total wishful thinking. But yeah, we'll see. I have an order at 197.25 to get short, and of course, it goes up and hits 197.24, one penny below where I wanted to be in at. So I'll change that to 197.50 now. So this is one where I'm just gonna need to go into the red at first because it'll either stop just shy or it's gonna have to go well beyond me in order to just get me the fill. Now granted I'm just doing 100 shares so much lower size, but this thing is getting so overextended. All right, I will pause. Okay, I have an order at 150.45. Got those. Out that fast for $75. If you blinked, you missed it. Going up to 150.95 now. So that was literally $75 in two seconds. <laughs> and I'm, on, I'm not exaggerating. You can go back, scroll back, watch when my, this order here went from white to green. And then I put an order out there and I'll watch how long, you know, count to two, 1,001, 1,002, and you'll see that that white order also turned to green, meaning I got in and out in less than two seconds. So a quick, quick $75 in literally two seconds. So now my Boeing loss is just down to $13. But let's see if this thing wants to get up to 150.95. And I'll look to start the process over again. But it's gotta get up to 150.95. Have an order at 151.85 here. On Boeing again, the chart just getting so overextended. But it's pausing. So going up to 152.25 now. Again, I need to see a, a relatively quick move up to my entry point, which it was not giving me. But I do like 152.25, if it can get up to that area. I'll keep you updated. Okay, it's looking for the, there it is. Okay, in. Let's see what it wants to do here. So it gave me that $75 again. Very, very nice move. I don't know, what was that? 10 seconds was I in that trade for? But right, let's see, I need to stop talking. And 153.35, next first entry point. Just double checking, making sure I have my order and right. For you longer time viewers of the channel, you've seen me uh, <laughs> accidentally hopping at prices that I did not intend to. That would be crazy if I actually get filled at 153.35. That would be so overextended right now. It'd be pretty shocking. Well, there we are. Um, not even 45 minutes in the day and I'm up $186, which includes that losing trade, which you saw. And I mean, I, I can only speak for myself, but I'm not a greedy savage. I'm well aware of the context here. I'm currently working from home, pressing buttons online, and up $186 in less than 45 minutes. Like I said, I can only speak for my time, but or for myself, but 
that that's that's worthwhile for me. I mean, if if you can go make well above one hundred eighty six dollars in forty five minutes doing other things, then by all means, economically speaking, go do those other things. But hanging out here with my kids in the other room, working from home, pressing buttons, sitting in very comfy clothes right now, I'll take it. And I just I say all that because I know what social media is like. I, I know what the internet's like. You go and you get the impression that, wow, unless I'm trading for my yacht or trading for my private jet or unless I have like a Rolex on my wrist while I, you know, trade for my phone and I'm making thousands of dollars and I, I I'm I'm just I'm just not doing it right. I'm not a very good trader. But don't fall for that, okay? Don't fall for that. Keep things in perspective. I mean the question becomes, I mean, what $186 working from home in less than 45 minutes be worth it for you. And that, that's how you have to look at it, through that perspective. For me, yeah, absolutely. Do I have a Rolex on my wrist right now? I do not. Am I trading for my private jet? Nope, I'm trading for my home office. And as I've talked about in past videos, the, the true trading lifestyle is not about Rolex watches and private jets. It's about can you control your time? What are you doing with your time? And all right, I'm, I'm trying to talk and stall at the same time, but this thing's just not behaving. It's pulling back. Well, but actually, NVAX is moving. So cancel that order out. Let's go look at NVAX. Oh, nice move here. Let's see. Volume's decent. Try for some short at 50.95. See if I can get up there. It's gonna be a tough fill though, because not a whole lot of volume, big spread. So I'd be I I'd be willing to wager to bet that if it goes up, it'll it'll stop at like fifty ninety three, fifty ninety four. But we'll see. All right, wow, seventeen minutes. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pause. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up. It is 10.30 a.m. Eastern time and really haven't been paying that much attention for the past 10, 15 minutes. Uh, but the final learning lesson I wanted to uh, get across, uh, especially if the, for those of you viewers that watch these videos as I release them. So if you remember on, what was it, Thursday, put out a video, $250 in, what was it, like five minutes or something like that? I, I can't remember the, um, oh, not, excuse me, not, not five minutes, two minutes. So again, for those of you that are maybe new to the channel, if you go back in the playlist, the video previous to this one was me making $250 in two minutes. So the learning lesson here is, unfortunately, as much as I wish I could sit here and say that every single morning you're just gonna wake up, scroll out of, you know, roll out of bed, get up to your trading station, watch two minutes go down and boom, you make and put $250 into your wallet or into your purse or into whatever, whatever device you use to carry your uh, money. And that just doesn't happen, because here we're at one hour, uh, grand, I'm gonna stick with the 45 minutes because like I said, I haven't really been paying attention since then. Uh, but here we're at 45 minutes and quote unquote only up $186. And But I'm, I'm still very, very grateful for that. So I'm not trying to come across like, so therefore this was a disaster. No, I already talked about that previously with the learning lesson. But like I said, to correspond this to the previous video, unfortunately, despite what some may make you think, yeah, not every single day, not every single morning is gonna be $250 in two minutes. Sometimes you'll have mornings like this where you kinda gotta scratch and claw a little bit uh, to you know get yourself in the green. But again, to circle back and to end, that's where the first learning lesson comes into play. I had to trade very, very unimpressively, and yet I'm still sitting here at $186 after 45 minutes of trading. So get out there, manage that risk. Don't put yourself in a position where you need to trade like a superhero. And you'll you'll notice, wow! I, I you know I'm not making necessarily massive massive wins because of course high risk high reward. But a lot of people making those high wins, that they're also taking massive massive losses that they either don't show or they just disappear because they blow up their account. But sure, when you start to really focus on managing risk and putting yourself in those positions where you don't need to trade like a superhero, yeah, you may not have massive massive wins, but you'll notice you just have a lot more green. And the, the sneaky and tricky part about a lot more green, aka consistency is that it adds up pretty quick. So thank you for hanging out though, thank you for watching, hopefully you got a couple learning lessons out of all this. Uh, if you did enjoy the video and if you did, or if you would like for me to keep on making these, a quick, quick way to communicate that to me, just hit that like button. Also down below, leave comments, questions, suggestions. I do read them all if you've ever watched any of my past videos and looked in the comment section. You'll notice that I, I do reply to them. So yeah, leave a comment down below and I, would, I will gladly read it and reply. 
And then finally, check out the channel as a whole. Uh, hopefully you go and watch the, the previous video that I'm talking about where you see me making $250 in two minutes. So you can just see the contrast between how, how different days can vary. Uh, but like I said, hopefully you enjoy the channel as a whole enough to decide to hit that red subscribe button. I'd love to have you as a subscriber to the channel. But thank you for hanging out and uh, yeah, I appreciate your support. And like I said, if anything, just hit that like button. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.